Hello fellow Dragon Trainers, my name is Video James, and we're back with Dragon Mania Legends. So, not a lot has changed since last time, as a matter of fact, I'm still trying to breed that one legendary dragon, which has literally taken me since last episode, and I'm still not anywhere near it, because I've literally just been able to breed the smoke dragon, and that's basically been it. That's literally the only thing I've been getting from breeding these two dragons. Now, there is something new that's happening in the game right now, and... I think it might have something to do with the fact that someone seems to have thrown the Millennium Puzzle into the ocean again. So yes, as you can see, there's an event called the Golden Pyramid event going on right now. And what this is, is it's basically like one of the big events that they have. Like, not like the tiny, oh, you do the Golden Gatherer, you get something, or you do the Farming Fanatic, you get something. No, this is more of one of the big events. So basically what this is, is it's like an Egyptian-themed event with a bunch of dragons that you can actually get that have Egyptian themes to them. So there's a bunch of parts to this event. Uh, the first part being the Divine Collection, which is basically throughout the event, if you unlock these five dragons that are on the left of the screen right now, then once you hash them, you will actually be able to receive the Hathor Dragon, which is a Divine Light and Darkness Dragon. So you will actually get a very good Divine Dragon if you can manage to get that. However, I doubt it's really going to be able to be got. And there are four rounds to this event. There's one round that is like one of the boss tournaments, where basically you have to go in a circle and defeat four rounds of dragons. And there's two rounds of events, which are basically enter the Divine Castle, which is, you guys have seen it before, you enter an area and you use, like, whatever currency they decide to give you, in the case of this Egyptian event, Scarabs, to actually make your way through the place and get the items. Now, I know I'm not going to get anywhere, because there's four days left of this, and I am not even close to getting to the end, and I guarantee you it's going to take somewhere around 10 million scarabs just to get to the end, which is not going to be feasibly possible for me to get. Now, I don't know what the last event is going to be, but I know there is also one round of events that's basically you open up treasure chests and you use, like, tickets to open them up, and whatever is in the chest, depending on which chest you open... Um, there's a chance to get a piece of a Divine Dragon. So yeah, that's happening right now. I have no clue how likely it is that I'll be able to get any of that. Um, there is still the Firestar Dragon going on. That's still going on for about six more days. So if you haven't got that yet, again, Lava and Sea Dragon should be able to breed it. I haven't seen it happen yet because I've only been getting smoke and mirrors. But it might actually happen. Now, as I said, not a lot has changed in Dragon Mania. And that's kind of going to be the way it is for the future. So I would say I would see you guys in the next episode of Dragon Mania Legends. But this is my last stop. You see, when I bought this game and when I downloaded it, I thought it would be a fresh experience. You know, I thought it would be something not like Dragon Mania, or Dragon Mania, um, Dragon City, and not like Rise of Burke, but something entirely new with a bunch of different mechanics from both games that had actually been incorporated and made into an actually very good game. And, in many ways, I wasn't disappointed. But, in a certain amount of other ways, I was also, at the same time, the same amount of disappointed that I was with the other games. I can't really play this game anymore. It's gotten to the point where I can't really go anywhere, I can't really do anything. It's basically just become a tedious check-in once a day to see what happens, if the game works, and then just leave. So I am going to end up leaving this series here. It's always series that we always want to see come back and always want to see make a triumphant return. But then there's some series that live in just their short, brief moment of fame, and that's all they needed, was they just needed that one moment of fame, just to shine in the spotlight and to have their chance. So for now, I am going to leave this series here. I hope you guys really did enjoy it. I certainly enjoyed it. Um, if you guys did like this video, you can slap the like button as always, and if you like the series, go ahead and give that like button another slap, and I will see all you beautiful people in the next one.